Hello, you are with the Breaker Leggers. We are at the new theatre in Oxford. Yeah. What are you doing here? Uh, Where's Simon gone? Uh, my name's Roy and I'm definitely not Simon. Definitely not Simon. Uh, what are we here to see? We're here to see Sunny Afternoon, which is the musical all about the kinks. And we'll find out how many legs, whether it's break a leg or leg it. <laughs> So we've come to the interval of sunny afternoon here at the New Theatre in Oxford. How are you finding it? It's alright. It's going okay. But all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's that? Well, they talk in the show about you know the kings wanting to be raw and like not safe, and I feel this is the opposite. This is playing it safe. I want. I'd expect more raw from the kings. Okay. So that's what I want. More raw from the kinks. I'd yeah. say it's um. Uh, we saw this. Uh, the Leggers saw this show when it was in London at the time as the Comedy Theatre. So this is the second time that the Leggers have seen this. So I've been trying to look at it from a new set of fresh eyes, if I've never seen it before. And it was interesting to see and nicely develop the interplay between Ray Davis and his brother Dave Davis. The kind of rivalry, how um, Ray wants to write music and he's dedicated to his family, whereas Dave, on the other hand, is a loose cannon, alcohol, women, drugs. A bit so, like you. Just like me. Yeah. What bits do you like? Um, the guy playing Ray, mm-hmm. who yeah, Ray Davis himself had a lot of input into the show. Like he's brilliant. He's very much what I'd expect him to be. Whereas the other three seem a little bit caricature at the moment. Okay. So I'm looking to see how they develop more. Um, I like the music, although it does seem a bit shoehorned in at times. And what I am liking as well is that most of the company are very talented. They're musicians. They're pretty sound actors, you know, the movement as well, it's moving fluently. The stage itself is just one stage set with the with the kind of band on the stage and the stage then becomes many different areas, many different prop bits coming on and off. So the dynamic of the set is quite nice. Yeah, there's no sort of compromise, I don't feel, where it's not like you've got a really good band and then some average actors. You know, they're all very good band members and brilliant musicians, but they're also good at acting, which is like to see. It's good to see. No compromise with me. So, so far, you're kind of saying it's okay? Yeah, it's all right, but hoping it kicks on a bit better for the second half. So, stay tuned and find out what we made of the second act. So we've come to the end of Sunny Afternoon on tour. How did you find the second act after the first? Yeah, I really enjoyed the second act. I thought it was a lot more real. The characters felt a lot more real. The songs fitted in what they were talking about. It reflected them and how they were feeling at the time. And yeah, I felt a lot more for them as a band and what more they were about rather than the first act where I felt it was all just kind of shoehorned in a little bit. So yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed the second act. It kind of really flows well together. It kind of shows that what's going on in their life is echoed through the songs they wrote at the time and how you know they were just an amplification of the relationships they were going through, the situations they were going through. Like when you see them sort of singing yeah, the songs and they're talking about each other or they're talking about their management at the time. And that reflects really well. Um, there's some really nice moments in the second act, which I didn't get in the first act. Was there any particular songs that stood out for you in the second act? Um, they did an a cappella version of Thank You For The Days, which was them thanking their original managers uh, for everything they'd done, and I think that fitted really well. It showed the appreciation they had for the early start they were given, and uh, the fact they wanted to thank you for what they, the input they had into their music. So that was really good, I really liked Yeah, that. it's a really standout number, that one, yeah. um, Thank You For The Days. Because a lot of it is very loud. I kind of said on the way over that I remember Sunny Afternoon being very loud and almost like a rock concert and yet that number is stripped back it's just the six of them I think it is yeah, five, yeah, six, six of them, of them yeah. and just their vocals beautifully sharp lovely harmonies I like the stage and the whole thing set in a recording studio or the recording studio is always on view which I think reflects you know Ray Davis and how much he says repeatedly through the show it's all about the music it's all about the music and I think the staging is there to reflect that now some standout performances for us are the two leads who played Ray Davis and Dave Davis and they were Mark Newman and Ryan O'Donnell uh, that was Ryan O'Donnell playing Ray Davis and Mark Newman playing Dave Davis some fantastic performances what do you think of them yeah I mean Ray Davis holds the show together you know, he, I mean, he is the lead singer, so, but the guy, uh, Ryan O'Donnell playing him is just repeatedly centre stage, and whether he's singing the songs that are kicking ass or whether he's just singing the nice low key songs, he stands out. He's like a little beacon, and he shows that as the person who cares the most about the music and about everybody around him as well, which I think definitely shows he was the guy in charge. He was the guy who cared the most, and he was the guy who was 
trying to drag everybody through it all. So yeah, I really enjoyed that. The whole piece is really tight. You can tell it's had a good solid run on the West End and it would have had the time afforded to it to bring out those production values, the staging, the choreography, the dynamics of each scene. So it really stands out as a fantastic production and not just a quickly hashed together touring production. No offence to touring productions, but some of them have been quite hit and miss. This one surely is and is solid. Yeah, definitely. So, sunny afternoon, coming to a national theatre near you, wherever you are in the country, because it is on tour. And we've caught it reasonably early on in the tour. How many legs will this piece get? We hear you ask. Well, after much careful deliberation, we have decided to give this piece... Of fingers, but you know, you get the point. Four fingers, four, four legs. Fingers He's new to this business, yeah, so you know, yeah, good. getting their legs. Yeah. Why do you think it deserved four? Well, I think it was rescued by the second act. I think first act was kind of three legs, and it looked like some people left halfway through. That's and very true. Some then, empty seats. Yeah, going so judging you, you not on the first act, which is a poor show, because actually, second act, it told you more about the story of the kings. It told you more about what they came up against and how they came through it and what they meant to each other in the end and that was shown through the music so and that's what it's about it's about the kings it's about the kings yeah. it's about their music if you know their music and their stuff you will love this you'll love their arrangements you'll love getting to know the story it's an education as well as a theatrical piece so four legs from us find out where it's going we're going to put a list at the end like subscribe tune into more videos who knows we might even see more from Roy Simon not Simon Simon not Simon Roy not Simon at some point in the future but all the best see you next time Bye! Bye. Uh, do you know anything about this musical? Uh, it's got music in it from the Kinks. Oh, so if you didn't know this is a musical about the Kinks and it contains music about the Kinks? I know, what are the chances? We're here to see Sunny Afternoon, which is a musical all about the Kinks. Well done, there we go, it's a musical yep. all about the Kinks. 